Today on The Big Questions, is God the problem? An idea of God is at the center of most of the world's faiths, but there's little agreement between them. The Old Testament portrays a wrathful, vengeful, and jealous being who commanded men to kill their wives, children, brothers, and friends if they worshipped any other god. Now, Christians worship a god of love, who's three beings in one, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Reverend David Patterson, priest of the Church of England, um, does God exist? I do not think that God exists, no. I think that that is probably the problem. Mm. Ideas of God are fine, and some ideas of God, of course, are very good, and some are bad. But what we have to do is to take responsibility, because we actually construct those ideas ourselves. Um, down the ages, so we usually build on traditions in the past, um, and as you've rightly said, you know, there are various dif different traditions in the different faiths. But all of these are human creations, and if they prove to be damaging and destructive, which is what atheists see that they very often are, then we need to take responsibility for those things that we believe. And when we say that we believe in something, we believe in a God, we believe what we believe about that God, and if we are honest, we put it into practice in our lives, mm. and if we're not, we don't. Mm. So believing in, in your God is a good thing, but you take responsibility for that God, thinking that it exists independently of, of human beings at all, and is the, therefore the only God, is where the problem lies. So what about the existence of any kind of supernatural being or supernatural force or supernatural energy? I would say that that is not, there is no such thing. Supernatural is, I think, a contradiction in terms. Um, all that is, is all that is. There is nothing outside it. Mm. There will be people at home watching, thinking, hang on, he's a vicar. <laughs> uh, I was. Uh, yeah, but you've, 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 you've believed this a long time, haven't you? Or you've not believed it a long time. <laughs> I, yes, sir. I was ordained already believing that because on philosophical grounds I, I thought that, you know, gods don't exist. That's not what they're for. Um, to say a god exists does not make sense. Mm. Um, one of the things I'd like to add is that the mystical, we didn't quite do it, the mystical tradition of really all the faiths and certainly Sufis and Christian mystics and, and the Upanishads and all sorts of things like that, do have this business that the more you understand about God, the more that, as a, as a, a thing, vanishes away. And the relationship is what's left. So personifying our ideals and our needs and so forth, which is something that I think all people do, and that's what really forms religion. And a really healthy religion is when that relationship is extremely strong. And it's not because you objectify this personification, if you see what I mean. It's not that you then say, this is the only God and all the others are false. You say, this is the God for me. This is what I can relate to. This is, this is, what, this is what transcends me. Okay. I don't have to say it's outside time and space. It's just that it transcends me and... and opens up my horizons. Right. And that's what prayer's about as well. Yeah.